David. Half an hour. Just give him another half hour. Can you just phone the police? I'll deal with whatever happens to me. I'm not worried about you. Right, well, if you're worried about the newspapers, they might never find out. What? A kid and his teacher who also happens to be his dad's girlfriend. Are you kidding me? You'd want to read it. Well, who's going to tell him? Well, someone at the police station I was willing to talk. Look, he'll never forgive me if this gets splashed all over. What? Nothing. Well, are you sure it's for Jacob's sake that you don't want to call the police? That... I'll ignore that. Can I help you? Balloons, please tell me you have balloons. And uh, party bags or any little gamey things? Oh, you should called earlier, told me to get some stuff out. Oh. See? Everyone thinks she's irresponsible. Uh, uh, to be fair, she did just take off. What? She's supposed to be organising Amber's party? Yeah, till she got a better offer. Well, her promoter friend needed her in Ibiza. Shame she didn't take me with her. Thanks. Make the call. With her number? I will answer it then. Hello? I didn't know who else to call. You call me. You always call me. 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 One? One? It's romantic. Yeah, he's calibrating. Think about getting one for yourself, are you? <laughs> no, thank you very much. Hey! Oh. <laughs> uh, any news on David? Thought about putting him on a lead for everyone's safety. Did he just say something to me? No. You know, it's not like you were crossing the M62, Eric. Basic Green Cross code. Stop, look, listen. Hey, hey, cut that out. Eliza was in the car. I've got every right to be angry. No, I think he's got enough on his plate. She's right, Jay. Just drop it. <laughs> he's got him. <laughs> They're bringing him home. 